Super Show. Yep. We are having so much fun. And I got to tell you, we had our meet and greet dinner last night, and we had a meet and greet here at the show today. And we are just floored by all the support that everyone has given us, John. I know. I mean, look, we're a small channel, and everyone has been so sweet. Hi, Angela. Yes, you made a live. So today we are in the coachman section. We're going to go yep. through some coachmans, and then if there's something else you want to see, if it's close by, we'll run over to that too. Because, like I said, we're a small channel. Yep. We don't have golf carts. No, we don't. <laughs> so we have to walk it. So let's start with this one that we have here. Actually, first, um, folks, let us know if you can hear us okay and if you can see us okay, because we've had some technical difficulties during the show. Just want to make sure that you can hear and that you can see see us fine. Yeah. Just let us know. And yes, the show has been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank Sweet. You. Thank you, Cozy Living Machine. And you've been to a lot of our lives, and we really appreciate it. Oh, and thank you, Ron. Okay, so I'm going to flip us around, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this coachman. The first one that we are starting with is a Coachman Encore 37 RB. No, it's a 375 RB. I, you know what, John? Get, get in front of the camera. <laughs> get in front of that camera, John. Yeah. Don't okay. get mad at me. All right, go ahead. Tell them what it is. <laughs> it's a Coachman Encore 375 RB. Okay, and let's go in. As we go in, hey, you know I like this. I know Easy you access under the stairs to your batteries. Now this is a front gas. It has 7.3 liter, 350 horsepower Godzilla engine in it. But this is a, a nice cockpit. You have, I'm not even, what is going on here? That camera screen is small. What is that about? And then you have this touch screen in the middle for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You have USB chargers here. You have your climate control and all your controls are right here for your lights. Map lights, fog lamps, generator start, you know, the typical things. And then your passenger has a workstation over there. You want to lift it up, John? Yes. Look at that. Very stable with chargers on the other side. Now, folks, I'm going to turn around, and you're going to see what the interior of this looks like. I think Coachman, we've neglected them for a while, but I think they've done a nice job with this one. I think they've upped their game. Yeah. So look at this. This is really pretty. This is a gas engine, and what they've done... So Coachman told us what they've done is they've taken some of the, the, the features from their diesel and they've put it into this Encore. Right. And this is something new that they've been doing over the past year or two. So, John, why don't you go ahead? Oh, yeah. I'll go in here. Because, you know, everybody wants you to model for them. What? Check out the, the dinette is nice. It's a very wide table. These seats are nice. Now, they are vinyl. They have a cloth look to them, but they're comfortable. Uh, this does convert to a bed. I like what they've done here with the lighting. It's uh, fancy, it's, it's, fancy. It makes it feel fancier. It does. Yeah. And even above the driver's area, when you look at the cabinetry, they put the, uh, the glass inserts in there to make it look a lot nicer than they used to look. John, I just want to say hi to Sunrisa and Snapchat. Snapchat. Oh, yeah. Welcome. And, um, yes, you are right. This does look like a budget kind of bounder. It has a very similar floor plan. It, it does. Let's it go does. to the kitchen, John. Yeah, the kitchen is nice. They mm -hmm. went with the farm style sink in this as well. Oh, I and um, I see a lot of these, uh, the RVs seem to be moving away from the two-sided sink. Hi in these RV streets. And John, look, there's a little uh, there's extra a leaf counter here. space there. Yeah, just so you can, and this, look how thick and it looks nice. It's a, the countertops look very nice. Let's take a look at these drawers and the size of these drawers, John. They're long. They're long. Keep going. Are they all the same? Yep, they're yes. all pretty much the same. They are, and they're soft clothes. And what about the cabinets under here? Hey, did you want to come through? Are we holding you I'm up? Sorry, no, you just got to wave to YouTube as you go by. You got to wave and say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for your service. And okay, then, John, I don't know if we, we're waving, so I'm just going to make oh, sure that we can sorry. see what's underneath here. There you go. It's pretty deep. Mm -hmm. And then you have three drawers this size, and like I said, they're soft clothes. That's pretty nice. Cooktop. This is a Magic Chef three-burner gas stove with storage beneath. That's, a, that's not bad. That's a big drawer. Yeah. And then above you have your convection microwave. Which is a pretty big one. 
And above that, a little bit of storage. Now, did we show these cabinets? We Joel? did not show all the storage in here. And those go all the way through? Yes. Okay. Now, John, there's really something special about this recliner here. Why don't you have a seat like you <laughs> always do? Yes. Well, not only is the inside lit up, which, you know, it's hard to find your drink in the dark, isn't it? This has its power, and it has heat and massage here. Look at that, heat, massage. And I was sitting in it before the live, and it was quite comfy. <laughs> yes. So it's a nice reclining. See, this one reclines, and that one on the end. Over here, the refrigerator. It's a pretty good size refrigerator for this unit. So, John, I'm going to say I, I have issues with this refrigerator, and this is the same <laughs> issue I have with every bunk house model we've seen. Yes. If you have a bunk, you probably have a lot of people, and it's a very small fridge. Well, you not only have a bunk, you have an overhead bunk, you have bunk beds there, and you have your master bedroom. I mean, who are you going to feed with this size fridge? I, it is kind of small for something that sleeps six. And you didn't show the bunk up there. I did not show this. This is, uh, supports 500 pounds, so you can shove a couple of kids up there. They'll be fine. And it's manual. It is. That's another point. A lot of people think power is one more thing to break, but this is a manual bunk. You just bring it down. Don't worry about a motor. So let's look at the TV and the fireplace, John. I, you know, I like this because, you know, ours looks very similar to this. That's because you love the bounder, John. I love the bounder. I like this fireplace here, and this is actually a heater. The television is a good size, and it has storage above it. And you also have some of your controls in this cabinet as well for your slide outs and your gen start, etc. Hey, put in the, ch the chat, let us know whether or not you like this model now. We're going to look at something that's really unique to this model. Here's so, your... Oh, go ahead, John. I'm sorry. Oh, you interrupted me. Here's your bunkhouse. You have your two bunks. Your bottom one is actually on the floor. And here's your top bunk. I'm going to come on here and take over. And here's what's special. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what? This is also a, a wardrobe. Now, watch this. And then you can lock this in place and put your chair in and now it's an office space so now this is also an office space a wardrobe and bunks and then the bottom bunk which is kind of a little awkward but if you have little kids and most kids don't mind caves the bottom bunk goes down here on the floor and uh you saw where the other bunk was so i think that's pretty neat let me know what you think about that the being able to convert it into three different things now john you missed the bathroom i did yep come on we that's have to across do... from the bunks mm -hmm. this is your half bath which is uh this is good. I mean, you have plenty of room here. Now, the only problem is, where's the toilet paper go? Is it hidden? I don't see it. Uh, you hold it? I guess you hold you it. You put it in a drawer? <laughs> you put it okay, on the counter? Okay, so in this model, there is no toilet paper holder, or maybe somebody just forgot it. Yeah, maybe they forgot to install one. That's Let's look in the here. medicine cabinet. That's pretty nice. That's a nice size with a light above. Yep. And it's a good size sink for a half bath. It is. It's an oval and not round, which I think is much better. And then back to the bedroom. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's okay. Just right. wave to YouTube, guys. Wait, you're live. Hi. You're live. Thank you. Now, we have the louvered cabinet. This is actually optioned for a washer. Um, is it a washer-dryer combo or washer and dryer? Uh, I think it was a washer and a dryer, but um, I think that... Um, yeah, you have the option to do that yes. in here. But, but if you don't want it, that's a heck of a lot of storage space, That John. is a lot of storage yeah. space in there. And then you still have a drawer right here. That's pretty good. All right. To the bedroom. Into the bedroom. Now, this is really, really pretty. I think, you know, Coachman really is stepping up their game. They are, because last time we looked at them, it wasn't like this. No, no. This is very nice. Another... Another huge wardrobe. Well, this is just a single huge wardrobe. But I Look love... at how deep. Put your arm in there, John. <laughs> this is elbow length. Okay. Yeah, that's a deep drawer. Both of these are. And then so, you also have these drawers over here as you do. well. And they're big as well. That's nice. And they're all soft clothes. I love that. I love that they did that. Nice touch. Let me see what's over here. You notice the only thing missing here, there's no end tables. 
I can't see John because you're there. Oh, well, that's I'm standing where they would be. <laughs> and this does have a CPAP station, and it has a light there and power supply. Oh, John, you're right. There is not, there aren't any. I mean, there's nothing there. It's just no. There's nothing there for the bed a, inside the slide. I don't okay. know where. I guess you'd have to put it on the floor next to the bed. I guess so. Um, although I do not see outlets where you would put it. So I mean, it would have to go in there. Ah, the bathroom. Yes. Medicine, Medicine cabinet. cabinet. Sink. Lower cabinet. Lots of space. Yep. John, why don't you hop in the shower? Of course. How many Johns can we fit in the shower? Oh, that's not too bad. It's pretty roomy. And it's high. It's very high. It's all the way up there, John. Yeah, this is very high. So for those of you who do not know John, he is 5'6". Yep. So there is plenty of height there is. to that shower. Come on out, John. Oh, let me show them this side. You have the cabinets. So you have have why don't you open them up for us? Yeah. That and this and this. So that's a lot of space, folks. That is a whole lot of space for storage. Yes. John, I am rather impressed with this Encore. I am, too. I'm very surprised because, like I said, they have changed a lot in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. They really have. Yep. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's also a diesel version of the Encore. There is. And we saw that for the first time when we were walking over to this display. And we were very surprised because... That diesel version was so affordable, I couldn't believe it was diesel. Yes, I believe it's around $219,000, which for diesel is really low. We're going to walk over and show you that real quick. It has a very similar floor plan. And I know that I said during lives we don't normally do our build quality rating, but I have to tell you, this one has, I, I've got to tell you this, guys, this. You know, I, I just, I'm always straight with you, right? So this is the diesel version of the Encore. Yeah, it's called the Encore SE. Yes, this is the exterior. It's not on a raised chassis, uh, so when you no. look at the storage, you can see you have the rail in there. But what I do want to show you is this outdoor kitchen, which you didn't have on the other one. Hi, Sir Ridge. So you have your griddle and your refrigerator. Only thing you're missing is water, but this is nice to have a griddle that slides out. But you know we have to give you the scoop on this one. We were really impressed when we went inside and we looked at it and we were like, wow, this diesel has a show price of $219,995. Right. That's very affordable, right, John? Yeah, for a diesel, that is great. And then I came outside and I was looking at this beautiful, beautiful exterior paint. I mean, look at this. It's really nice. This is a nice paint job, right? It's bubbling. Uh, some of it is. It's, it's a rough paint job. Yeah. It's a rough paint job, so something to keep in mind. Uh, let me get you guys this price here. This is, let's see if I can get this right. This is a 365RB. Did I get it right, John? You got it right. Okay, because I haven't been getting it right. <laughs> and yep. folks, I know that, um, hey, all about the banks. I know that some people have been asking for things like the cargo carrying capacity. Um, for a lot of these, you have to do the math. So what we're going to do um, to give us a couple of days for these lives, Yes. We're going to put chapters in them, and then we'll also put the full descriptions for each of the models that we go through. Yes. So that you can see what all that, that information is. Okay, John. Now, this has a similar floor plan to the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me turn around. What? So they can see it, John. What do you guys think of this? It's very similar to the other one. But it's yes. not a bunkhouse. This and is it's, actually kind of nice. Yes, and it's a diesel, of course. But it's a mid-entry diesel, so you don't you have a drop-down bunk and you don't have to worry about exiting because your door's there. Check out the table out front. Oh, I've never <laughs> seen something like that before. Look, guys, this is this is the passenger seat. Yes, that table can go there or here between the seats. Let me know what you think about having a table right there in front of the passenger chair while you're going down the road with cup holders. That is actually kind of neat. I guess because they don't have anything to pull out, like a workstation or a desk or anything like that. That's right. pretty, that's different. That is different. Mm -hmm. And this is on the Freightliner chassis. You have your rear view cam and your, uh, your Apple CarPlay Android audio screen right there. All the stuffs. Yep, all the stuffs right in the middle for your entertainment. Now, 
I notice on these low-end diesels, they love to put the refrigerator behind the driver. The Pace Arrow does that. Yeah, the Pace Arrow for Fleetwood and a couple of others, and the kitchen is over there. Mm -hmm. So I, I know Sherry doesn't like that. I don't. So you have your, bank, your bunk? Yes, you have your drop-down bunk. This one is, uh, wait, this might be manual as well. I think it is. Yep. So that's a little savings. Wine rack. Look at that. They put a little high-end features in here. That's a nice touch, a wine rack with two drawers here. Mm -hmm. Above it was that. nice meeting you, too. We had a great time. <laughs> Above that, some deep cabinets. They're pretty deep. And it looks like these are outfitted for your television equipment as well. And finally, we move into the kitchen, away from the fridge back there. Wait, John, what about the pantry? What? I didn't even see that. Yeah, let's show them the pantry. Ah, it's this kind of pantry. Okay. Yeah, Cabinet so it's with a little bit doors. narrow. A little bit. But you know what? I don't mind it as much because it's not a bunkhouse. It's not So a you're probably not going to have as many people. Right. So you're going to need to cook as much. Okay, let's go right. to the kitchen, John. A farm style sink with the dark fixtures again. And we have a deep cabinet. And I didn't show the little drawers on this side, did I? No, they're tiny. They are. They're yep. small. Okay, so John, how about up above here, these cabinets? Just like the other one pass through. Yep, so this is all very, very similar. You yeah. have your microwave, you have your three burner cooktop. Right. And you have your fireplace. Now this has a different sofa, John. It does have a different sofa. This one is not powered or massaged. And I believe it flips out for uh, another bed. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And there are drawers underneath the dinette here. Did you check out the dinette? Oh no, I skipped the dinette, sorry. All right. This John, I, I have to say, I don't, I don't normally do this during lives. Yeah. But I do have some issues with, I see a lot of fit and finish issues in this, in this rig. So let's, well, let's, let's keep going. Let's just finish this one up. Right, right. Um, and, I, I'm not quite sure what happened with this one, but this one was definitely rushed. It's pretty much the same setup as the other one. Mm -hmm. And the bathroom is a little bit different. Yes, it is. It's the opposite. Hey guys, while we're going around doing this, um, let us know so that we can plan for tomorrow's live. Which manufacturer, we can't guarantee models, but let us know right. which manufacturer you'd like, to, like for us to go to. So Frank says this was probably tossed together just for the show. <laughs> Maybe so, we, we've seen some surprising things, but. At least this has small nightstands on the end with chargers. At least it's not leaking like something else we saw. No, no it's not. Okay. All right, John, why don't you show us the bedroom? Yes, we do have the nightstands here with a USB charging, a CPAP station in there, and a light, and two other cabinets on either side. Okay. Over here on both sides of the center television, you have a wardrobe. This looks like it can be outfitted with a washer and dryer, but this one does not have that option. And then we have big doors here. Oh, those are big. Yes. It's a huge, huge, huge. And then more cabinet space. No, and the wardrobe right up yeah, here. Yeah, that's the wardrobe, just like this one. Okay. And they like the, you like the, yeah, I like the bunkhouse version better. It's a beautiful sink. That is nice. Check out the shower. Oh, that shower is gorgeous, John. Look at that. I really like this shower. It's really nice. Sprayer here, sprayer here, hand sprayer, and sprayer up top. Okay, John, I think that, uh, so we've had multiple requests for New Camp and, and Lance. Yeah, we're going to have to do So those. I think we're going to have to do Tiffin, New Camp, and Lance. Yeah. So I, I think I need to share something with everybody just so they know, right? We wanted to do, come on over here, John. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to share some information with you because, you know, us, we're always straightforward. Yeah. Um, we got some bad news. Right. Um, a family member of ours had to be rushed to the hospital, so... We're not going to do our lives as long as we would like to, and we couldn't do as much as we wanted to today. Right. Um, and tomorrow, we're going we're gonna to try to do as much as we can. Um, so we're going to, I see we, people want Tiffin, they want Lance, and they want New Camp. So we'll try to hit those. Um, but, you know, it might be a little bit more rushed yeah, than we like to do, just because, we, you know, we like to go through these beforehand and show them to you. But we, we do have to deal with some, some family matters. Yeah. Um, so, and I, I know that we promised that we would, to go live for you guys every day, and we don't like to break promises. So that's right. why we're here, and we're doing this for you, okay? 
Okay, now that that's over, back to more fun. <laughs> Why don't we uh, check out a couple of Class C's? What do you think? Would you guys like to see some of the Coachman Class C's? We saw some really interesting ones, didn't we, John? We did. Uh, let's go take a look at them. Thank you very much. We appreciate that, guys. We really, really appreciate your, your, your good wishes, your well wishes, and your thoughts. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to follow John to these cross trails. Look at this. I see, John. Let's, which cross trail was it that we were going to do first? We were going to do one that was... Down here. I thought it was, yeah, it's down here. These cross trails are very interesting. You know that? They are. I've never seen anything quite like them. Was it the one with the bed that the goes bunkhouse. up? We were going to start with the bunkhouse. Oh. Thank you very much for all the well wishes. We really, really appreciate that. Uh, we're going to start down here. They have a classy cross trail. You know, Coachman has some very affordable products. Which one's products. the bunkhouse? Um, always worry a little that bit first about one? quality, but um, Sherry? they're affordable. Uh-oh, John's calling That's in. That's the bunkhouse. Oh, we're going to the bunkhouse. This is the weird, the, the unusual one or the... Yes. Did they open the door? They yeah, it's the right door. there. Okay. Yeah, see that big door. All right, we're going to go to this one. All right, this oh, one. Sale night. price is... Oh, did you? We saw your Concord video. Oh, oh nice. thank you. Did thank you like you. the Concord? We did. We looked at it yesterday, then we watched your video last night. Oh, cool. <laughs> Say hi to everybody you're live. Hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going for 119 995 So listen, we for those who are interested in the Brinkley, John and I... We did look at both Brinkley's, the yes. prototype and the one that's in production, and we interviewed the owner, and we got a tour from the marketing guy. Yes, so that'll come out soon. That'll come out soon in long-form content, and we also talked to people to see what they thought about it. Right? Yes, we yes. did. So, okay, John, let's go. All right, this is on a Ford Transit. Up front, we have the television. We have these two couches. They have places for tables in the couch. And we have some storage right here. Now look, John, why don't you take one of those tables out? Oh, they're right here. And while you do that, I'm going to turn around so that other people can come in who are waiting because we have to share. And I also want everybody to be able to see what this looks like. Now, I guess it goes in like this or like that. It's kind of flush with the couch. The Brinkley, I've got to tell you, was very interesting. So this is what it looks like with the table in. Yes. These are the couches and these fold down to make a bed. Right. Over here. Want to say hi to YouTube? Hi. <laughs> Over here we have your kitchen. Oh, we have an induction, John. That's unusual. That's in a interesting. Class yeah. Some deep drawers. Angela says you're killing it today, John, because you're trying to keep your job. <laughs> That's pretty deep. That's really nice. And you've got two shelves there. Okay. It's appropriate size refrigerator for this unit. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Freezer, refrigerator. Now there's something unique, right? This is a bunk bed. John and I, let's John and I are gonna switch places. Yep. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> now these beds fold up and out of the way if you don't need them. Okay, let me try to go back some so that they can see it. I'm gonna climb over something here. Okay, John, go for it. Show well, them those bunks. Now you have the bunks out of the way and you can load things in and out back here and you have tie downs on the floor. So you can carry equipment here. If it's about this big, you know. And you and have that open door. You do. You can bring it in the back. You don't have to drag it across your floor. And then you have these two bunks that do come down. And so you have a bunk here and a bunk at this level right here. Angela, I'm not sure what size this refrigerator is, but uh, we're going to put chapters and specs for all of our live walkthroughs. And so uh, give us a few days and you'll be able to check it there. Right. It's a regular microwave? Yep, regular small microwave. You want to open up the space here? Yes. That's a one big open cabinet. All right. And then we have a bunch of cabinets going around the room here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I do yes. like the, the shape of those. Yes, you yeah. have each one's its own individual cabinet. Yep. All right, John, let's look at the bathroom. There you have. Oh, it's a wet bath. It's a wet bath. I'm surprised. I wouldn't have expected a wet bath in here. Yeah. Hey guys, let us know what you think of that uh, the bunks here. 
I think, you know what, John? I think I'd like it better if the floor wasn't finished like this because if you were to put anything in here... It, it'll it, scratch it up. That's going to scratch the floor. It's going to look pretty bad after a while. Yeah, but I think they find it hard to transition to that matting that they usually put in. Mm -hmm. It would be this black matting over here in the corner, so that would look awkward. Okay, John, hop on down. Hop on down. What do we say next, John? You lead the way. I will follow you, John, wherever you go. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Don't lose me, John. I love you too much. <laughs> We're going to go, how about up to the last one up here? Okay. Was it that oh, one? You picked the one that was the most crowded. Or did we want to go to see this yes, one? Yes, they're vinyl planks. Oh, well, this is another bunk, right? Yeah, this is one. Well, this is the bed for the unit. Oh, that is the bed. Okay, let's go in this one. All right, let's go in. Yes, we would like to be, we, we, we plan to, uh, to do something like that. We're working on getting some additional products that we can review for you guys. This is a pretty nice looking rig inside. It's bright. Looks nice. And you know what, this is, this is really interesting, John. We didn't say what this was, so let me go catch yeah, this on the outside. Yeah, catch the price. Let me go back out here and catch what this is so everybody knows, because it's, it's a unique one. Um, oh, there's nothing here, John. It's right here. It's a 2023 Crosstrail 20XG. All right. There you have it. That's what it is, but I don't see a price. Uh-oh. It's free. It's free? <laughs> I like free. It's priceless. Okay, John, let's show, show, show us this. All right. So we have a regular microwave up high. The TV is actually behind you. We have cabinets up high. Go around the top of the room. We'll work You're our way down. You're giving me whiplash, John. You're going from one room to the next. Bonnie would have never done that. I'm just going around the top of the room. <laughs> okay, I'm just messing with you. This is an unusual refrigerator. It is. It has the same, you know, they just put the, okay, I see this coming off eventually. It doesn't you seem don't like, like it's, that. it's like glued on. Kind of. <laughs> it's like a stick on. Stick on fridge. Oh. All right, let me see the fridge here. Yeah. You guys want to see what that looks like? It's about right size for this type of unit. I would think this so. This very big. How's that dinette? That is comfortable. It's a big dinette, but it has the old style table with the two poles. Mm-hmm. So you have to pull the poles out, and then the table rests on these wooden rails down Hold here. Hold on, let me get that. I have, to, I have to step out to get that, John. Yeah, see? Oh, that is old style. It is old, old style. School. Old school. Old school RV. And then here in the kitchen, we have this small sink and um, the two-burner stove here, above which we have this big cabinet. And below, we have... That oh, they have drawers. And this. So they, they have this side underneath the sink. Yes, and you have three slide outs. That's nice. Now behind us, we have more storage. Look. So they have a lot of storage in here. Look at that. That's pretty deep, John. It is. So you know what we're going to ask you to do, right, John? Uh oh. For Hot perspective. In the oh, my no, arm. I want you to put your arm in. Uh, that far. Three quarter. Well, maybe. <laughs> Pass my elbow. Pass your elbow. You'd lose cans in the back of that. Oh, here's but the... But that means you could put a lot of cans in there. <laughs> yeah, you, here's the shower, which is you know, short. I'm kind of glad they did just go with the plain white stuff. I mean, yeah. it's not real tile or anything, but... No, it's not. That shower head's a little small, too, but, you know, it's for the, for the price and the type of RV this is, that's cool. Yeah, and that's that cool. must be the toilet over there. Well, let's see. Oh, you like... Yeah, the sliding windows are pretty cool. There is lots of airflow in here. Here is the bathroom. Here is your sink. Your toilet. More cabinets. And let me see if I can get the, here's the mirror. Hi, everyone. Your sink. And then you have more storage. Here's a wardrobe here. Oh, the this wardrobe's in here. I know why the wardrobe's in here, John. Because of the bedroom. Because of the bedroom. So let's take a look at the bedroom. Now, this bedroom does have the rubber matting on the floor. Yes, it has the rubber matting on the floor. Here's your bed. And your bed lifts up. You can see right there, you can lift. There the, the controls the right next to you. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. let's see if I can do this. Okay. It should be on already. I can't. Hit the buttons. Oh, duh. Hit the up-down button, John? Up-down button. Okay, yes. John. I'm turning the key. Nothing's happening. All right. So this is power. And you can lift this up. And then you have two large doors on either side and tie downs on the floor. But you see, this is how you do it, right? If you're going to say I'm a toy hauler, at least put something down where my floor is not going to be damaged and separate it a little bit like we have here. And then you have a door on the left. And these are huge doors. Let's, let's take a look at this. I'm going <laughs> to... You're going to slide out the door, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to slide out the door. <laughs> Come back in here. Ah. Woo! Okay. 
So you can see the size. Both doors are the same on either side. And John's playing. John. John, you're going to get fired, John. Oh, bye. I know it. He's going to go up and down. That's what he's doing. He's going up and down. I came out the right way. Boys and toys. You know what? Boys and toys. I did it the right way. Uh-huh. OK, John. Now. All right, folks. Um, actually, Newmar is right there. Yeah, let's go to Newmar. So I, I think that's pretty cool, too. I'm going to follow John. Where are we going to go? Newmar. You want to see a Bay Star? Let's do, oh, the weather is absolutely beautiful. It's sunny, it's warm, and I'm dreading going back home to 30 degree weather. We're going to sneak through here. John and I actually are thinking about moving to Florida. We love it so much here. And then we could camp all year round in nice weather. We could show them the superstar. Uh, how about now, a Bay Star? A Bay Star would be better. Because we're going to do a superstar in long form, so let's do a Bay Star. How about uh, Bay Star or Bay Star Sport? Hey, have you guys not? So I put out a short. It's really weird. This show is packed with people right. everywhere except for Newmar. Yeah, Newmar. And I can't attacking. figure out why that is. There's like nobody. But look behind me. You saw how crowded Coachman was? Oh, the, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to pick up our new baby when we go back home. All right, we're yeah. going to take a look at the Bay Star Sport. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments, they've made some changes. Yes. I want to, I'm not going to tell you what I think of it. I want you guys to tell me what you think of it. So let me switch you around. The, uh, if you're asking for the price on the coachman we just left, they didn't have it. And Newmar doesn't post their prices. Interesting. We had that conversation. There, there are a couple of uh, manufacturers that just won't post their they prices. They won't post their prices. sales prices. No, they won't do it. No, they won't let them. They won't let the dealers do it. And so this, that's where the limitation is. This is the Base Star Sport 2920. Okay, John, lead the way. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. You're you guys want to come down? Coming but you got to wave. If you're coming down, you got to wave to YouTube. Say hi, yeah. everybody. Auction. Auction. Uh oh. Giving away Ooh. a sport. Giving away one. Uh, so, selling or, it. Uh, selling it. Okay. One eighty four. Twenty. Okay. Thank you. Same coach. Same coach. Three years newer, older. Thank you. Okay, folks. If anybody's interested, we caught that, and you can reach out to her. And all right, here we are. The driver's compartment is underwhelming to me. You weren't supposed to tell him what you didn't like. Oh, oops. Don't tell him what you didn't like. But here is what the new. I, I don't remember them looking like this last year. No. But put down in the comments below what you think of that compartment, the driver's area, the cat driving cabin, whatever you want to call it. But it does have a desk for the passenger. It's in the side in the armrest there with the cup Okay, holder. cozy living machine. That's exactly what we had issues with. <laughs> There's a desk here. <laughs> what did he say? You'll have to wait, Johnson, watch oh, the replay. <laughs> darn. And then they've done the, they put cabinetry on this refrigerator here. Now, why am I having issues? Here we go. Okay, so this opens up, and let's see what this is like. Hey, Marcus. It's a decent size fridge. Happy I mean, birthday, Kelly! Say happy birthday, John. Happy birthday. It's Kelly's birthday. Happy, happy, birthday, happy Kelly. birthday. We can't sing the birthday song because we might get a copyright strike. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but oh. if we could, we would. That's tiny. Oh, that's really small. But it's a regular microwave because they have an oven. Oh, that's a nice size oven. Yeah, three yeah. burner stove, oven. And then we have the two-sided sink. Let me get that. And what is that console? Exactly. I have... Oh, my god! I think that's new because I don't remember seeing that before. And, and that is the ugliest thing I've seen. That's a lot of carpet up there. Yeah. I didn't want to tell you guys what I thought because I wanted to see what everybody else thought about it. Close the other one up. There we go. Thank you, John. You're welcome. John, show us. Did you show us the cabinets below the sink? Not yet. Okay. Here we go. All right, that's okay. And then a couple of drawers down here. Yeah, I mean, the drawers are finished. I will say that. Why don't you take a break? Oh, Sit yes. on the couch and tell Let's us how that sit feels. down here. Is this an, oh, uh, no, that's fixed. It's soft. It's comfortable. Now, I like the lighting. The lighting in the slide. Nice. That's, that's pretty. And then we have some cabinets up here, and they go all the way through. John? Oh, you also have a leaf in the kitchen I didn't show. Okay, show us the leaf. Here it is. So you get that much more space. Yep, it has a lot of space in this kitchen. John, you want to hit the dinette? Ah, another disappointment here. 
Well, John, I don't know, right? So this was more like a couple's coach? It is. So this is perfect for a couple. Yeah, so I think I think this is okay. If this had a bunkhouse, I'd be a little bit concerned, but this one's okay. Large drawers. Large drawers. Comfy uh, chair. Oh, it is comfortable. This is very soft. This is only one, John. They yes. Have it there, only. And we have some more cabinets up above right here. Oh, there's a glove up there. Uh-oh, I don't know someone what, uh, forgot their glove. I don't know what they were using it for, so I'm going to keep on going. Oh, did you want to come through? Oh, yeah. You got a wave to come through. That's the price. <laughs> <laughs> the price of coming through. Yep. Here's the bathroom. Oh, John, this is a really, really, really nice bathroom. I'm going to ask you to step back for just a second so I can show it. Yeah. Okay, John. You know, I can't wait to get in there. Look at this medicine cabinet. You don't see medicine cabinets oh, that is like nice. this very often in RVs. I do like this. That is a big medicine cabinet. You know what? I didn't even notice those shades. Thank you for pointing that out. Hmm. That left side is kind of useless. Yes, kind of For useless. cabinet space. <laughs> but you have the right. Yep. And how's the shower, John? It's very large. Yeah? And tall. Good. All right, well, I'm going to walk to the bathroom, John. What? Before I do that, there's another cabinet here I'm going to show. So here is, I'm guessing your... Pantry. Pantry. Yep. It's very nice. Okay, John, show us the bedroom. All right, we have a very large wardrobe here with large mirrors on the outside of it. Mm -hmm. And the drawers down below, John, you want to grab those? Yeah. They okay. come far out. They're That's okay. I, I don't know if I really like the way those function. I mean, they, 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 look at this. I know. I, they're, I, just, they're very... I could see that when you pulled it out. I don't... Oh, thank you so much, Marcus. We got a super chat, John. Oh, thank you. Watching your content since you started. DMV RVers have to stick together. That's right. And, John, I didn't, we didn't tell anybody this, right? What? But we got some really good feedback from our meet and greets. Yeah. And we're going to do a camping trip. Yes. Yeah, we're going to try to do one for this, this spring or summer. We'll try. Um, so look for it. Yeah. It will be in the DMV area, and we'll put some more information about it. Because we were afraid nobody would show up. I yeah. really didn't think anybody would show up, would want to see us, right? Because we're but, so small, but uh, people did, and they, they want to camp with us, and we want to camp with you. So yeah. Okay, back to this. All right, we have the television here and a place for your TV equipment right there. All right, Marcus, great. Love to see you. Now, the bed has nightstands with USB chargers on either side and a 110 outlet and also a small cabinet on either side of the bed. Two cabinets above. This is a pass-through and it has power and there's also a place on both sides. Oh, uh, John, you're breaking stuff. Oh, no, someone left their cup in here. Oh, it's decorations. No, it's decorations, John. I knocked over the decorations. And there's a, a place for a CPAP hose on both sides. Very nice. Okay, well, this has been fun, John. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a shorter tour than we like. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to get ready to head out from, from the yeah. show shortly. So um, we hope you enjoyed looking at the Coachman. We hope you enjoyed looking at this Newmar. And uh, just, you know, put, well, tomorrow we'll take a look at some of the manufacturers that you put down in the, yep. the chat and, and in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, because we found out that 76% of our viewers are not subscribed. Can you believe that? I know. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button for us. We've got 24 people here and only 13 likes. Um, the YouTube algorithm is a strange, strange thing, and we like to get out to as many people as we possibly can. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you tomorrow for another live.